can Netherlands best 11 ever finally win the World Cup? I'm going to take this challenge today and do my best to help fans forget all heartbreaks of the past and accomplish their biggest dream. Here is the Netherlands best 11 of all time. In goal we have Edwin van der Sar, the player that still holds the world clean sheet record of 1311 minutes by not conceding a single goal. In center back position we have Ronald Koeman, master of the free kicks, who scored 250 goals in his professional career. Alongside him we got Frank Rijkaard, one of the best players of his generation. Although Rudy Boller will not agree with that. We have probably the most versatile player of all time. Brut Hullet, Ballon d'Or winner and you know how good he is in FIFA in general. Even whole category of players named after him. In midfield we have Clarence Sado, 4 times Champions League winner with 3 different clubs. Next to him we got Wesley Snyder, who had the tournament of his life in 2010 World Cup, but sadly did not win neither World Cup nor Ballon d'Or. On the left hand side we have Dennis Bergkamp, one of the most technically gifted players in history of the game. Just look how good he was. In right side we got Robin van Persie and Dirk Kite behind him. Two more players from the iconic 2010 campaign. And up front we have two players with three Ballon d'Ors, Johan Cruyff and Marco van Basten. Cruyff is broadly recognized as one of the greatest players to grace the football pitch ever and he is our captain, so let's bring this trophy home. First game we are facing Japan, this should be an easy walk for our iconic team. And of course, we started poorly and conceded on 11th minute. No, that was down the middle, Van der Sar, come on. Cruyff, we need this. Yes, one on one with the keeper and the great finish from Johan Cruyff, our captain equalizes 1-1. One, one. This time we conceded from Kyogo. No, no, no. To be fair, that was some assist from Takefusa Kubo. Robin van Persie to Van Basten. Finish this. Yes, great strike from Marco van Basten. Come on. Ayase is absolutely free in the middle and of course he scored. He had all the time in the world. Come on, guys. 85th minute, we conceded fourth goal. This time Kubo scored himself. We got humbled big time. First game is a loss. EA, come on, give us more defensive minded Dutch icons. Root Kroll, Gio van Bronckhorst, Yap Sam, Edgar Pitbull Davids, Frank de Boer. To be honest, knowing EA, they would probably give us his twin brother Ronald, who was also a midfielder. Here is the situation in our group. We are on the last place and we need to win last two games in group stage to qualify. We use 3-4-2-1 formation, but after fiasco against Japan we decided to switch in game to 4-3-3 iconic formation for Netherlands. Next game we are against Uruguay and this is a must win. And we got the opener from the corner kick. Root Hulit smashing header, come on! This is what we needed guys, early goal, early lead. Marco Van Basten threw ball to Van Persie and he makes it two. Let's go, two goal lead. Oh no, it's 2-1. Guys, defend this one. No, no, it's equal again. We need one more goal. Van Basten to Bergkamp and he grabs the winner for us. Dennis Bergkamp on his left foot. Great goal from Dennis Bergkamp and we win this game. Last game in group stage was against China and we won it in style, scoring three long range goals. Cruyff got the brace and one goal for Marco Van Basten. Although we won that game, we came second in the group and had to face Brazil in the round of 16. Netherlands and Brazil matched up five times in World Cup history in 1974, 1994, 1998, 2010 and 2014. But the question is, can we win this time? For now Brazil is in attack, Bruno Guimaraes shots and Van der Sar parries the ball, great save from our goalkeeper. Then Wesley Snyder did what he did in 2010. Cruyff plays with Burkamp, Burkamp to Snyder, goal, 1-0, Snyder from the middle of the box, great attack from us. In second half the only team in attack was Brazil, good chance for Renan Lodi, Van der Sar saves us again. Long ball to Vinicius and wow that was some header from Vinicius, we are so lucky not to concede there. Brazil in the attack again, 
last cross of the game and the ball is in van der Sar's safe hands. We eliminated Brazil, one of the favorites of the tournament. Here are the results for round 16. Portugal beats Spain, New Zealand eliminates Japan, Cameroon goes through by winning on penalties, England beats Germany, Denmark are also through to the round of 8, France beats Italy, and the biggest upset, Korea Republic eliminates Argentina. We match up against Denmark, and we all remember how they eliminated Netherlands from Euros 1992 on penalties. Denmark started aggressively and we gave out the penalty. Yes, Dirko it was wrong there. Okay, let's pray Van der Sar can save us. And yes, come on, good save from our goalie. Denmark is in the attack again. Bar is completely open and he scored. We cannot let the opponent to have so much space in our box. We need to focus more. We are in the attack. Cruyff, great footwork in the box and he equalizes. Our captain stepped up when we needed him. You want Cruyff? Come on, that was some finish from Cruyff. And in the end we won this game and are through to semi-finals. Portugal beats New Zealand in quarter-finals, England passes Cameroon and Korea eliminated France as well? What the hell are they cooking? They would try to eliminate us too but not so quick. This semi-final was in our control. Ruth Hulid with the header, come on, smashing header from Ruth Hulid. We open the score from the corner, finally. Quiff with the ball in the flank, cuts inside, shoots and whoa, -ho -ho -ho, that was amazing. Sensational finesse. And with that goal, we are through to the finals. This is it, we are in the finals, we've come against England and we need to stay calm and composed, not repeat the mistakes of the past. And we got the first chance of the game, Van Persie on the break, come on Robin Van Persie we need to score. Really? Worst shot in the history of World Cup finals. England has the chance to score, Mount passes Hullet easily and Van der Sar saves us. Odin crosses the ball. Come and try to clear it. Bellingham with the volley and Van der Sar saves us again. How good he is when it matters the most. 81st minute. We are in the attack. Cruyff takes loose ball. Plays to Steiner. Burkham. Now we need to defend this lead. England on the attack. Foden crosses the ball and Hurricane almost scored. Again, Van der Sar parries the ball. And yes, we did it, guys. We finally won the World Cup for Netherlands. What a performance was that. Cruyff got six goals in tournament. Van der Sar saved penalties and made other great saves as well. Keep us in the games. And in the end, Bergkamp stepped up big time to win this game for us and bring the World Cup trophy to Netherlands. If you are still here, comment, subscribe and check out the other content on the channel.